Welcome to LearnEnglish.com. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'd like to share with you a brief lecture on how to use the present continuous tense with objects in spoken English. The present continuous tense is a useful tool for describing actions or situations happening right now or in the near future. When using this tense, we often include objects to provide more information and clarity to our sentences. So, let's delve into the specifics of using the present continuous tense with objects. Firstly, it's important to understand the basic structure of the present continuous tense. It consists of two main components, the auxiliary verb, to be and the present participle form of the main verb. For example, I am eating, or she is studying. This structure sets the foundation for adding objects to our sentences. When including an object in the present continuous tense, we position it after the present participle form of the verb. The object can be a noun, a pronoun, or a noun phrase. Let me give you a few examples to illustrate this. 1. He is reading a book. Here, a book is the object that provides more information about the action of reading. It answers the question, what is he reading? 2. We are watching a movie. In this case, a movie serves as the object and tells us what we are watching. 3. They are building a house. Here, a house acts as the object, specifying what they are constructing. By placing the object after the present participle verb, we create a clear and concise sentence that describes an ongoing action with additional details. Remember to use the appropriate form of the auxiliary verb to be based on the subject of the sentence. Furthermore, it's worth noting that when using pronouns as objects in the present continuous tense, we often contract the auxiliary verb and the pronoun. For example, she's reading a book. I'm watching a movie. They are building a house. These contractions are common in spoken English and contribute to the flow and natural rhythm of our sentences. To summarize, when using the present continuous tense with objects in spoken English, remember the following key points. Structure your sentence with the auxiliary verb, to be and the present participle form of the main verb, place the object after the present participle. And consider using contractions when the object is a pronoun. Practice incorporating these principles into your spoken English. And you'll find that the present continuous tense with objects allows you to express ongoing actions and provide more information about what is happening in the present or near future. Let's make a few sentences by using present continuous and repeat with me. Positive sentences. 1. I am enjoying a beautiful sunset at the beach. 2. The children are playing happily in the park. 3. She is studying hard for her exams. 4. We are exploring new places during our vacation. 5. They are laughing and having a great time together. 6. He is cooking a delicious meal in the kitchen. 7. The flowers are blooming in the garden. 8. The team is working diligently to complete the project. 9. It is raining outside, and I am cuddled up with a good book. 10. The birds are singing melodiously in the trees. Negative sentences. 1. I am not watching TV right now. I am reading a book. 2. The dog is not barking. It is sleeping peacefully. 3. They are not going to the party because they have other plans. 4. She is not studying medicine, she is pursuing a career in art. 5. We are not eating out tonight, we are cooking dinner at home. 6. The children are not misbehaving, they are playing quietly. 7. He is not playing the guitar, he is practicing the piano. 8. It is not snowing outside, the weather is sunny and warm. 9. The car is not starting, I think it needs a jump start. 10. They are not arguing, they are having a friendly discussion. Interrogative sentences. 1. Are you listening to music right now? 2. Is she watching a movie at the cinema? 3. Are they going on a trip this weekend? 4. Is he working on a new project at the office? 5. Are we having dinner at home tonight? 6. Is it raining outside? 7. Are the children playing in the backyard? 8. Is the train leaving in 10 minutes? 9. Are you enjoying your time at the party? 10. 
Is the chef preparing a special dish for tonight's menu? Keep practicing, and soon enough, you will be able to use present continuous with ease and confidence. Remember, practice makes perfect. Thank you for your attention, and I wish you all the best in your language learning journey. Thank you for your attention, and we wish you all the best in your language learning journey from learnenglish.com.